Good day folks, it's Sean here from Air Photography. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new DJI microphone system. Now this thing actually has been out for quite some time, but it hasn't been readily available. It was first launched alongside the Action 2 with an original shipping date of January, but that kept getting pushed back month after month. When it was finally released, it was still definitely in short supply. Technically in Canada, it's still not available if you go to the DJI website to try and buy it. It just gives you the message that you can only reserve it. Luckily earlier this week, B&H did get some in stock and I did order one right away and I must say my first impressions of this thing are quite good. Now like many people over the past few years my go-to wireless transmitter setup has been the Rode Wireless Go 2 and for the most part these are excellent microphones as well. However the DJI microphone does have some unique capabilities that really will enhance my workflow and we'll kind of go over all that here coming up. Now my first impressions of this microphone system when I first opened it was that this case is actually not as large as I thought it was. When I was watching videos online it seemed to be a little bit bulky but it's actually quite small but the other thing I noticed right away is just the build quality of all the units and it's just really a nice complete kit you have everything you need whether you want to connect to an action camera a smartphone or any type of traditional camera now for those of you who aren't aware of the DJI microphone system as you can see here it comes in this battery charging case and that's one of its nice features when you store the transmitters or the receiver inside the case will actually charge them back up but on top of that the case will actually pair them so for whatever reason if your transmitter or your receiver ever becomes unpaired all you have to do is pop them back in the case and they will be repaired automatically now I'm gonna go over some of the features of the DJI wireless microphone system and why I've been really anticipating these becoming available as mentioned there are some really unique features in here that are gonna be very helpful in my workflow uh, one of the first things that I really like about it is as soon as you open up the case right away everything powers on you can just take a device out and it's already powered on and ready to go the other nice thing is it gives you a battery level of all the devices so just at a quick glance you can see everything is charged up and even right below that you can see it shows us how much onboard recording is available as well these two transmitters have backup audio recording so you always have a backup if something goes wrong but not only that you can use them as a field recorder you don't need to use the receiver you can just take out one of the transmitters and start recording video and we're going to take a look at that here in a minute as well because the way DJI has implemented it is much more convenient than the way it works with the Rode microphones. Now the other nice thing about this setup is when it comes time to recharge everything, you just have to plug in one cable. Unlike Rode microphones where you have the two transmitters and a receiver, each one has to be plugged in individually. And depending where you are and where you're filming, that's not always convenient. On top of that, you can see here we have different connections so we can connect this receiver to many different devices. You can plug it into any camera with a traditional TRS cable, but as you can see here, we have a USB-C adapter and we also have a lightning adapter and the nice thing is they store nicely in the box so they're always with you and the other nice thing that they've done here it doesn't matter what adapter you have on it'll always fit back inside the case whether you have the USB-C connected the lightning connected or even just the clip connected it'll fit nicely back in that case you don't have to remove them every time that USB-C connector is very convenient because I do film with the action 2 quite a bit and with it you can just plug it directly in like that and now you have a nice simple way of capturing good audio on your action 2 but as a little bonus you can actually use Use the transmitter as a very basic remote. For example, you can click on the linking button and as you can see the Action 2 is now recording. We click the linking button again and it stops recording. Now for me one of the other deciding factors on getting this new setup is that you can actually connect it to your RC Pro. As a YouTuber I'm quite often doing screen recordings and unfortunately the RC Pro doesn't have any built-in microphones but with the DJI mic you can plug it directly into the USB port at the bottom. You can see right away at the top it recognizes it and now when you're doing screen recordings you can get nice clear audio. As mentioned you can also connect it to an iPhone with the lightning port or if you still have an iPad that has a lightning port it just plugs directly into the bottom there like that. And on top of that, just like the DJI Action 2, you can use the linking button at the side to start and stop recording. Now another nice feature of the DJI microphone is its touch screen. With the Rode microphone, you just have a series of buttons that you use to change settings. And even then, some of the advanced settings you can't change within the device itself. You actually have to plug it into a computer and use the Rode app to change settings and enable some features, which is really inconvenient, especially if you're out in the field. However, with the DJI microphone system, there is no app needed. Every setting can be controlled right from the touch screen, and it's actually pretty intuitive swipe down from the top that brings us into the main settings we can set it from mono to stereo we can adjust the gain of the receiver we can control the level of the headsets if we have headsets plugged in as a monitor we can adjust transmitter settings and then we can dive in deeper and change a few other things as well now if we swipe up from the bottom that's going to allow us to change some settings on the transmitter 
We can stop and start recording if we want some backup audio. We can mute the microphone. We can format the internal memory, which is definitely a nice feature. Now, another really nice design feature that they've done here is if you're using both transmitters, you can adjust each one individually depending on what side of the screen you swipe up from. So for example, if I swipe up from this side, it's gonna bring me to transmitter one. If I swipe up from this side, you can see there it's gonna bring me to transmitter two. Being able to control these transmitters from the touch screen is actually a great idea because if you're doing an interview with somebody and they're wearing it, you don't have to worry about adjusting the audio levels or having them stop and start recording if you want a backup track. If you want to adjust the gain, you can do it all from the main receiver. Now let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look at the transmitter here. As you can see, we have a USB port on the side, USB-C I should say, and you can use that to charge us up individually if you need to if you can't use the case for whatever reason. But it's also a data port, so that's how you can get your backup audio recordings. And it's also how you can update the firmware. Beside that, we have a power button. And of course, that's how we can power it on and off if we need to. But also a double press will put it into mute mode. On the other side there, we have a link button. Again, that's if you need to manually link them. But as mentioned, it's easiest just to link them by putting them back in the case. But that button also works as a record button on various devices as I've demonstrated. Now, the other button here below that is record. And that's actually one feature that I really like that DJI has done. If you decide you want to back up recording, all you have to do is hit record. And you can see that red light's on. And that means it's recording high quality 24-bit audio directly to the device. That's great as a backup track but it also allows you to use this as a field recorder. You don't need to have your transmitter powered on or plugged into anything. Right now, technically it's recording audio. Everything I'm speaking right now is being recorded to the device. When you're done recording, you just hit the record button and it's gonna stop recording. Now, DJI just released a firmware update. I think it was around May 11th for it. And it did add some new features for that recording capability. You can lock this button so you're not accidentally stopping and starting recording, but you can also set it to always record. And what happens, as soon as you pull it out of the case, it's gonna automatically start recording. And that's very similar how Rode works. As soon as you power on the device, if you have it to always record, it's just gonna start recording as soon as it's powered on. The only downfall to that is you can end up with hours worth of blank audio that you don't really need. And then it can be hard to find the audio clips that you do need. So I really like that there is a record button on it so I can stop and start recording when I need it. Now on top of the device here, you can see that's our microphone. And in the accessory package that comes with it, there are two dead cats for each each transmitter. You just have to line them up at the top there and then they twist in. So if you're going to be recording outdoors, even with a gentle breeze, it's a good idea to attach these and that way you don't get a lot of wind noise. And then finally, right beside that, we do have an audio jack. So if you do want to connect a traditional lavalier, you're able to do so. For example, here I have the Rode Lavalier 2. DJI doesn't make its own lavalier, so you will have to purchase a third party one if you do want it. As you can see, it just plugs into the top there. You can now put this in a pocket or on your belt, and then you can just clip the microphone to your lapel or shirt or wherever you want to put it. So now let's take a closer look at the transmitter here. You can see at the side we have a power button if we need to power it on and off manually. And you can also lock the screen with that button. You can see if we just do a quick press on it, we now lock the touch screen. That prevents you from accidentally changing settings when you're out working. Another press on it will unlock it. Beside that, we have a USB-C port, again, if we need to charge it up manually. And again, it's also used for updating the firmware. On the other side here, we have our out. So that's how you would plug this into a camera or a GoPro using the included TRS cable. And beside that, we have a headphone monitoring jack. At the bottom here, we have a connector. That's how we can change from the lightning connector to the USB-C connector and even the clip. You can see the clip just slides into the bottom there like that. Now you can clip this onto different things, but it's also the exact size of a cold shoe. And that's how most people end up mounting it. They'll slide that into the cold shoe of their camera. So that is the basic functionality of the DJI microphone system. Now there is one feature of the DJI microphone system and why I'm switching to it, probably for my full-time audio. And that's due to the field recording capabilities. As mentioned, when I'm out recording sometimes in the field, I'll just use transmitters as a field recorder just to capture audio. And being able just to stop and start recording by hitting that record button is actually very important to me. But for me, the most important feature is that when you're done recording, the files are stored on the transmitter, but they're already in a readable format. Unlike the Rode, which you have to plug into a computer, then you have to launch the Rode app. You have to set your export settings, and then you have to export each track, which really, for the most part, is really inconvenient. If you're a regular to my channel, you know that I am a complete mobile editor. I edit all my videos, drone videos, YouTube videos. Everything I do is edited on an iPad. So with Rode having to transfer it to a computer first, export it, and then transfer it back to an iPad, 
is just one extra step that I don't really want to have to do. However, with the DJ microphone system, as mentioned, you can plug it directly into a computer. It becomes just like a removable hard drive. All your files are there ready to use but it also works plugging it directly into an iPad. Now you can use a USB-C to USB-C cable to plug it directly into your iPad. Now I've only tested this on the iPad Pro, but I'm assuming it's gonna work on any iPad that has a USB-C port. But as you can see here, all we have to do is plug it in, plug it into the iPad. As you can see right away, it pops up there. We can click on it. And there's all the audio files that we've recorded. You can play them or you can transfer them over to your iPad for whatever edit you're working on. So definitely that one feature is gonna make my workflow a lot easier, and it's one of the main reasons why I wanted this microphone system. On top of some of the other conveniences of being able to connect it to any device, without having to worry about whether there's a cold shoe on there or anything. I can just plug it into my iPhone if I want to get some good audio, plug it into my Action 2. It's just all the way around a nice convenient setup. Of course, if your battery starts getting low or it's the end of the day, just pop it back into the charging case and they're gonna charge up and they'll be ready for you the next time you need it. I think DJI has done a great job for a first generation product. Now, when it comes to the Rode system, I'm in no way saying that these are no good anymore. The Rode microphone system is a great microphone setup. The DJI microphone system does have some features that aren't available on the Rode system, but you got to think the Rode system is, what, a year and a half, almost two years old, so that is to be expected. There's no doubt in my mind we're going to see a Rode Wireless Go 3 sometime in the near future, and that'll probably bring it up to speed with what DJI is offering with their microphone system. So now before we go, let's just do a quick audio test so you can kind of get a feel of what these microphones will sound like. Now, the room I'm recording in doesn't have the best acoustics, I do need to get some more sound panels, uh, but it should be good enough to give you a rough idea of what it's going to sound like. Currently, right now, you can see I have the transmitter mounted on a tripod, and I've just pressed record on the side of the transmitter, so basically I'm using it in field recorder mode. And I'll actually be using it in this configuration quite a bit when I'm out filming tutorials and reviews for my YouTube channel. So again, this is just an audio sample coming from the DJI mic when using just the field recorder. But it will sound very similar if you have it used in conjunction with the transmitter and it's plugged into a camera. Well folks, just a quick overview of the new microphone system from DJI. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, it's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.